says he can't and a man who says he can are both usually always right. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. As you can see, this is my deadlift training from September 1st of 2016. My third to last uh, deadlift workout before IPL Worlds in Texas on September 24th. And um, first, I'd like to apologize. I haven't, I didn't post my video last week, and you know, obviously putting up the video for this week today along with that. And uh, it's been really uh, busy, um, and uh, you know, just trying to get a hold of it on top of everything and keeping up to date with keeping you guys up to date on what's going on with me, and uh, you know, just tracking my progress, of course. So. Um, today call for 585 for seven, I got that, and uh, just hitting my numbers and technique is on point as always, and just something I always try to hone in on, and I spend the most of my time perfecting, and I want to make sure that it's down to a science and second nature for me, so, you know, just going over that over and over again and making sure it's down pat, and, uh, it's obviously displaying here. So um, second set call for five eighty five for two. Got that and again same thing six twenty for two, and um, just really ready to go. You know, um, it just I had to really step step back and realize that two years ago when I first started competing, this five eighty five was my max, and now I'm hitting it for seven reps two years later, and. Uh, I believe that's a real testament to hard work and dedication and just, you know, really applying yourself to what you work on and what you're trying to achieve and just, you know, ultimately believing in myself. I, I did not set any barriers in my mind, you know, and I believe that limits are illusions. That's some that's an thing of your imagination and there's no reason why you can't get to where you want to. As long as you keep telling your you tell yourself you can and believe that. There's no reason why you should not believe that you can get to where you want to be. There's, I, I believe that everything that I want to achieve, I can achieve as long as I set my mind to it. And I just work every single day at it. There's no reason why I can't achieve that. I don't set limits on myself. And I don't have anything that blocks me from achieving what I want. And any obstacle or any adversity that I come across, I will surpass it. And I will overcome it no matter what. As you can see from this year, I actually had been at a point where I was digressing and I got back to where I was and you know the hardest thing and during that time was to just keep myself going and just keep believing in myself and just to keep working and now I'm the strongest I've ever been you know and uh, the most important thing is I'm going into this competition 100% healthy and you know definitely want to keep that as well as well as always keeping this intensity from every workout leading up to the competition and just giving 110% on that on that day and putting a style performance and walking away um, Garage door. better, you know, and um, I actually had a gentleman who, by the name of Phil, um, I had the pleasure of meeting and knowing now due to his son, who is also named Phil, um, had a, a uh, message that he shared with me about an individual who was actually talking to four guys and he had them uh, put their hands together. And only use their index fingers, and he was sitting on a chair. And he told each one of them to put each uh, each four pair of their hands at a certain point and to lift him off the chair. And he said that just to let them know he's two hundred seventy pounds, so he's rather heavy, and they're going to only be able to lift him a few inches off the chair. So, proceeding so they do that and they lift him about four inches off the chair. Now, well after that, what he had them do was. He had them all put their hands over top of his head, one on the other. And he told him, he said, now this time, you're going to do the exact same thing after you remove your hands again. But this time, you're going to remove me off the chair completely, a lot higher than you did before. Because I'm going to be a lot lighter this time. So, and in doing so, same thing. Put their hands on each four points on the chair. They lift them up and they lift them completely off the chair. The reason why I mention this is because... The point he was making is it's the power of the mind. It's mind over matter. The only reason why it was different the second time versus the first time is because the first time he told them that he was going to be heavy and they could only lift him a few inches off the ground and they believed that. Versus the second time when they told he told them that he was going to be a light lighter and they can lift him completely off the chair, again, they believed that as well. Which shows you the power of belief is really, really something that 
really matters in whatever you're doing in life. I've been believing in myself for the past two years and for the past five years I've been working out. And actually, as a matter of fact, next week makes my five-year anniversary of being in fitness and working out. And I started believing in myself the day after my first competition two years ago when I did 585 for my first competition. And I told myself that if I keep working at this one day, I can be where I want to be with this. Two years later, I can proudly say that that thought is slowly becoming a reality and it can cement that at this competition. And I would not be where I am if I did not truly believe that everything I'm doing now, I didn't believe that. And I do believe in myself and that is the reason why I've been kept going. That's the reason why I work day in and day out on what I do regardless of what I have going on in my life. And I've been able to achieve so many things in such a short time in this sport and hopefully be able to achieve more success within the sport for years to come. I know I sit here and I talk in these videos and I say a lot of things about, you know, believing yourself and just, you know, working hard and being dedicated, you know, all the cliches and everything, but I wouldn't be, my words would not be valued if I didn't achieve anything in myself and I didn't apply that, that advice to myself and I'm just simply showing you that this is something that I believe in and this is something I apply with me and look where it's gotten me. I was just an average person when I started out and I believed in myself and I told myself one day I can be on a whole nother level as long as I work hard and I work at it and I just don't stop. And I've been believing that for the past few years and it's gotten me to a point where, like I said, my thoughts became re are slowly becoming reality. Do not set a limit on yourself. I, there is no such thing as a limit. That is an illusion. That is a figment of your imagination. That is something that you implant in your mind. Just because somebody else says they can't do it does not mean that the same thing applies to you. I'm telling you right now, you can have two guys in a room who are training for a competition. And you can have one guy who is completely talent, who has God-given talent. And you have another gentleman who is just more determined than anything else. But the guy who says he can, and the guy who has a talent and just relies on that, but tells himself he can't do it. The person who believes in himself, who's determined, who's hungry, is going to prevail. You don't have to have the best of anything. Start with what you have and go from there. All you have to do is just decide where you want to go and where you want to be and start now plain and simple because eventually along the way things will fall into place like I said I've been working out for five years and for three years I wasn't competing at all you know and for I was pushing myself just like I am now and I had no sense of direction I knew that you know working out was just a passion for me and it just something told me that just to keep working hard at this because one day it will all fall into place and make sense. And again, like I said, it's slowly becoming a reality now. There is no reason why you, there is nothing that can stop you from what you want in life. Point blank period. If you want something, go after it. Put your heart and soul into it. Give nothing but blood, sweat, and tears and give 110% every single day. And one day, everything you want in life will come. I have two deadlift workouts left, just under four weeks out now, going on three weeks out. Same consistency, going to keep pushing forward, giving 110%, and be the best I can be on competition day. As always, thank you for your support. As always, videos on Thursdays. Thank you guys for watching and take care.